Hello everybody, this is Johnny Margarito here with Wiseman Traders, mentoring the eager to become wise. Um, I'm making this video to um, um, to give you guys a summary about investing and trading because those are two completely different objectives right there. Investing is long term, you're looking to, to invest in a company to watch it grow over at least over a year period of time. And um, trading is you just you buy just to sell at a higher price, hopefully, um, just to make a some profit. And there's there's different trading techniques that you could be using. The most common one is probably day trading, where people just follow the daily movers and they buy in just just to sell later on that day at a higher price. But that's probably one of the most difficult ones where. Most beginners and most people who don't know how to how to do it or greedy that's that's one of the um, easiest ways to lose the most money the quickest. Um, my most favorite way of trading is swing trading, where you um you buy a stock to sell it maybe the next day or a couple of days later when it's at a higher price, especially when you know there's news coming, or or if it is or if it had a big dip, so you know it's going to be coming back. Um, getting some momentum back up again. Um, those are just two different styles of trading right there. And of course, investing is when you're putting your money into the company because you see it growing over over time. Um, a couple good ways to find companies that are worth investing into is checking their their cash flow, seeing if the cash flow positive. If they have good revenue, uh, the earnings reports, of course, is a big thing. Um, you want to check the overall market cap, the market cap value. That's the overall value of the company, including their income, all their assets, and um, stock buyers. So the stock assets are included in there as well, which move the overall market cap when, when we buy and sell stocks. And... Another thing to look at while investing is look at the product or services that the, the company that you're looking into provides because of course that's the biggest thing and the competitors uh, in the same industry that you're looking to invest into. You gotta look at all their competitors to look at their, their market cap to see um, where they stack and of course the product and services you gotta reverse them up against each other because that's what most investors do. They want to go for the best company that's going to perform better over time. So you have to look at the company and their competitors in the same in the same sector. And of course, um, the CEO has a big thing to do with how a company is going to be performing because he's the one who makes all the calls at the end of the day. And um, one example is look, look at Tesla and Elon Musk right there. Um, the evaluation of that company does not make sense at all. But Elon Musk, he he's worth every dollar of it because he's a hands-on innovator and he's a creator. He's gonna be changing the world. He's impacting this world. So uh, the CEO has a huge thing, a huge part to do with investing into the company because you're you're putting your money into his hands because he's the one who's gonna be calling the shots for the company. So definitely look into the CEO when you're investing into companies. So that's the difference in between trading and investing. Trading is short term, you're trying to get a quick dollar, some quick books. Investing is you're putting in your money into that company to see it grow over time. Um, I recommend investing, especially if you need that money, your family needs that money in the future. Um, Invest it. Invest into a great company, into an ETF, um, to watch it grow over time. Um, if you have money that you can risk, um, then trade. Um, trade that money so you could try to so you could try to flip it and make some some profits every week. Every week, um, I recommend having two different accounts, having a account for investing and one for trading. Because so that way you don't get your you don't get them mixed up and and you don't get your hands tied. 
So only trade with money that you can afford to lose and put it on a different platform so you could so you know you could risk that money and money that you need for your future and for your family put that in a different account for investing that's my recommendation and to stay around 7 to 80 percent invested 20 to 30 percent trading if for the majority of people that's my my best recommendation so some features you could be getting with when you have the Webull app, you can see the 52 week range, which is the movement that the stock has been over the past year. You can see the volume that has been, that it's had during the past day. You can see the shares outstanding, which is the total amount of shares that the company has issued. The free float, um, the free float, if you multiply by the, the current stock price, it comes out to the free float market cap. Just in case you didn't know that. And then the level two on Webull is fantastic. And of course the order, the order flow distribution, which is the in and out flow. You can see small, medium and large orders going through on each stock. So that, that comes out handy very, very much. So I highly favor the Webull platform. And one of my favorite features about the Webull app is the paper trading. It's you get to trade or invest with fake funds and gives you like a million dollars or you might get to put the amount and you get to trade or invest. So it's really helpful to get your toes in the water or if you want to practice before actually using your real money, it's it's really helpful and I highly recommend doing it for for practicing trading. Um, for trading, I use Robinhood at the moment, but I'm kind of. I'm looking for another platform that I may um, use for, for trading now. Um, another another platform I like, especially if you may need the money, um, if you may need to pull it out to use it anytime soon, is Cash App. Um, because you could buy stocks on Cash App and, and some crypto, and you could just pull the funds out during market hours at least, and then you could you could use it instantly. So, Webull, um, I'm, I might be getting out of Robinhood and Cash App. Those are those are some good um, platforms right there. Along with Fidelity, I, I have been seeing a lot of people um, favor Fidelity. So I just opened up a, an account with them so I could scope it out more. As I said, um, I'm trying to look for another trading account. I also opened one for M1 Finance. Um, so I'm gonna be uh, digging deep into those um, platforms to see which I mean be. I may be moving my trading account too. Um, but I hope this video helps you guys out. Um, I'm gonna drop some links below for for a Webull to get some free stocks when you make a hundred dollar deposit. I think it is. I'll also be posting a link for Cash App because that's a very convenient app to be using, especially if you need the funds. So I'll be posting the links below. I'll also be posting a link for wisemantraders.org if you guys need uh, a mentor so you guys can learn the stock market and we can give you some guidance to help you grow or if you guys just want to join a group for trading check out wisemantraders.org and let's continue to earn and grow together guys take care